All right, hey everybody again. This is uh, Flying High Five. Uh, we're back here at Hayworth Park. I don't know if you remember. Uh, uh, probably might remember. Took a video here uh, a couple days ago, uh, and you could just barely see over some of these camping spots over here. You could see the tops of the barbecue grills, and they are now nowhere in sight. Uh, over here, I think the land kind of slopes up a little. You still got a barbecue grill over there that you can kind of see the top of right right over there. I don't know if you can see it really. But uh, there's this tree right here. It's kind of hard to see. Somebody used pink, which was kind of silly. To... I'm colorblind, so I can't read it anyways. But that tree right there has some markings on it. And maybe, uh, maybe some of y'all can actually tell me how tall it is. I think it says like 30, 35, and 40 but I can't really read it but uh, anyways it's uh, water looks like it's probably risen a good couple feet now and uh, if we look here at the other side of the road there was just a little puddle here before up over and not get hit by a car it's a cool thing to do apparently is take videos of uh, Hayworth Park but uh, it's not completely closed they're using it for a baseball game but remember this side of the road had uh, just a little puddle over there in that corner and now it's, uh, that whole field is uh, most of the way, you know, saturated. Even uh, even the stuff that still looks like it's got grass on it, it's pretty saturated. So you can see, you can see the reflections of the lights. The uh, little park on the other side of the road is uh, flooded as well. Uh, right over there, we got some, you can see right under that bridge, there's some railroad tracks that go by there. And uh, if they don't move that tractor pretty soon, it's going to be underwater. Railroad tracks over there that I don't know how much uh, what it takes to wash them out, but there's uh, a lot of water here, and uh, the water's right up against the uh, the edge of that uh, those railroad tracks. So I'm not exactly sure how the water is getting there. It's probably just seeping through under this road, but uh, yeah. Anyways, it's getting a little crazier. Oh, let zoom out. Another person driving. You can see the gazebos there. Those gazebos are like 10 feet tall. You see, it's under probably, I don't know, this is my uh, Indiana math measuring. That's probably about five foot of water, four, four or five foot of water there by the gazebo. And if I were to guess over over here past them people up there at the corner, you're probably looking at more than that. You're probably looking at, who knows, six, seven foot of water. There's a lot of water back here in the park itself. Much, uh, needless to say, you know, the banks back over there are completely overfilled here at Hayworth Park. Uh, but this, I guess, is a levee of sorts uh, up over that way. And hopefully it'll uh, keep us all dry. But uh, right now there is a lot of water here. So, uh, yeah, check out uh, Navy Thomas 8 or uh, Flying High, or I'm sorry, uh, Really Too Ugly. I am Flying High Five. Uh, check out one of them guys. They uh, they got pretty good uh, videos up chronicling all the different floods and everything. Uh, this was a big one in uh, 1952, another one in like 1927. So something that this is going to be close to. But this is what it's like down in Bellevue. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a ton of people just coming up here taking pictures and playing baseball at the flooded park. So I love Nebraska. All right, good night.